Hello again, a new day, a new project. What I'm trying uh, to make today is a saw filter. I'm going to show you how to build it. And not only this, but we also we're going to have some tests about uh, connections and uh, what's the proper way to connect this to a LoRa gateway and um, how to avoid too much adapters or too much adapters in the chain, I may say. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a piece of PCB. You see it right here. It's a tiny piece. That's why I have to use my microscope. So it's like, we got the dimensions here. 1.8, 1.3 or 4 millimeters. Okay, this is not critical. But anyway, I'll just try to show you the dimensions of this. Here, on the top of this, we're gonna plant a filter. These are the filters, you know. And let's see. The dimensions of these guys can you see it's like three two and a half millimeter side okay let's have one ready for the pcb we got there so be sure before anything you know manipulating these filters touch some metallic things because these are prone to electrostatic discharges and they are getting destroyed very very easy so here we're gonna have the filter. I let the middle to be on the ground so I'm gonna cut here so let's say that's the middle this uh, this will be on the ground and we're gonna have this and this on the sides because we need to have the input and output terminals Evidently, that's the, here are the terminals. This is ground, input and output. So, this will be on the board on this position. What I have to say is that the ground pins here, this one, the other one there, this one here and this one here, these are connected to the ground and they are connected to the other side to the top of the filter which is metallic by the way and it's working like a shield too okay what we have to do first is to grind this spaces i'm gonna use my mini grinder here That should be okay. Now, let me check with my multimeter if we have any shorts here. Ground, evidently. Good and good. Perfect. Next, let's prepare the soldering iron to have the filter in place. So we need soldering wire. We need flux. And also we'll prepare the filter for getting the connections have some flux on the surface here on the filter too the pins are prepared there now the trick is to have this down we are good there yes mechanically it's well in place very well in place in fact let's check if we have the connection to the ground properly yes okay so as long as the metallic top of the filter it's connected to the ground there is no need to have any other ground connection you see the pins here they are automatically connected to the ground what we can do now it's something very simple. We just have to connect some pieces of wire, eventually connectors. And I'm gonna use for that this kind of thin Wi-Fi wire. This has been uh, connected to Wi-Fi. But before having the wires in place, I have to do the connections to input and output to these pods we got there. Yes. And here. Extra flux doesn't hurt. And soldering. 
We are good there. So you can see the connection there already. And this is very important because we're gonna tie all the wires and everything else to this pod here and the other side flux. This is done also. Okay, good to go. Let me try to clean this a little bit. So you can see the connection much, much better. Little alcohol. I think it's too much light here. Oh yes, there we go. There we are. Now you can see very clear the connections to the pods. This is the output. And the input. Nice. Okay. This was the microscopic part of the things. Let's have the connectors in place. Nice. Now the ground, good. And the next. So this is done, we have the connectors. This is going directly. Nano VNA server, it's up and running. It's set to 800 megahertz to 900 megahertz. And let me have the first filter. You know this one, we have just two connectors and two pieces of Wi-Fi cable. This cable is from uh, laptops. I don't know how we'll behave at 800 megahertz, but let's have, let's see the results better. Okay. And sweep. And there we go. You see the filter, it's really nice and flat in this area, exactly like it was advertised. It's, in fact, the filter is 866.5, but it's absolutely okay for uh, for our frequency, you know, for lower frequency, in fact. And we have a maximum gain of minus 2.767. This is great. Really nice result. Let's shoot once more. 752. Okay, very nice. Now I'm going to have the same filter. But this time we've kind of uh, with the connectors straight to the PCB. And that's not enough light here. We need an adapter because both of these connectors are female and we need an adapter. And of course, I need a piece of wire. This comes with the nano VNA to S11. Okay, that's it. 2.6, so this one, two, filter. Okay, even better. This is a really good piece of wire. The next test will be something strange. I have another filter already done, and this is tailored for a customer. All the connectors are in purpose done for having the less uh, the less losing possible. We have a female here to go into the minor or into the gateway and we have a male SMA here to connect the antenna directly. A very small loop. Okay, let's see how we can put these things together. So I'm thinking I'm thinking about having having a trick here. You know, these small adapters, the straight adapters, you know, they are very good because the losing on this kind of adapters are absolutely low. But now, let me see 
how can I put this together into the nano DNA? Let me try like this, the fire, and I'll do a kind of adapter. I really, I recommend you this. If you have two, let's say, SMA female with SMA RP or RP SMA female, instead of having a, a adapter in between, better cut a piece of fire, the right diameter here. Is it going in or is to see? Oh, it's okay, yeah? Okay. Let's shoot again. Okay. Two. So. This is plus 25. Minus 275. Very good result. Now oh, let me show you again. That's a very useful trick. I hope you can see it. You see, this is a female connector, obviously. But I just put a piece of wire in there and turn it into a male. And that makes sometime, you know, a good adapter with almost no losings. Let me have the final test. So we have here two meters of RP174 cable with good connectors. This one goes inside here. This should go into the filter. And now we need this one to connect it. Okay, let's see what's happening now. And this is the result. Two meters up, we are losing already around 3 dB, 5, 7, 9. Three. Yeah, that's a huge difference. Exactly 3 dB in just two meters of cable. So the cable is very, very, very important. I don't have any kind of other cable to, to experiment, but anyway, this is very clear. Any piece of wire in between the filter, the antenna, the gateway, it will be a loose, you know, a signal loose, a path to keep it as simple as possible. Avoid any kind of adapter and uh, connectors and whatever, you know, keep it simple straight to the gateway and you're gonna have the best results ever thank you for now i hope it's useful and uh, if you like subscribe i'll be happy to answer all your questions and uh, the most important thing don't forget to have fun bye bye yeah.